Welcome to episode number 54 for the National Land Realty Podcast, where we discuss all things land. Our goal here is to inform, educate, and entertain those of you who own land or are interested in the buying and selling of land throughout the United States. My name is Matt Christian, and I am the Chief Marketing Officer here at National Land Realty. I'll be your host for this episode. Today, we are talking about a revolutionary piece of technology for land sales, Land Tour 360. This is a piece of technology developed by National Land Realty, so it's a bit of a plug. Don't let that fool you though. This is a game changer for selling land. Land Tour 360 gives you the ability to tour land, whatever the size, from the sky in a true interactive experience, and it's free for National Land Realty clients. Land Tour 360 enables viewers to view 3D images of your land, zoom into points of interest, and even zoom into walkthroughs of buildings on that land. This gives prospective buyers the ability to tour land before their boots ever touch the ground. In some cases, we've even seen buyers make the purchase without ever even seeing the property in person. Today, we're talking with Jeff Feltz, the director of all things Land Tour 360, to get the ins and outs of this technology. Now sit back and enjoy. I am sitting here with Jeff Phelps. Jeff Phelps is the technology project coordinator for National Land Realty, and what we are here to talk about is a very, very unique piece of technology that we work with, that we developed, that, that we did in-house. And it, the reason we're talking about it is this is just a really unique way to view land if you were looking as a prospective buyer or if you are a seller to go to market and to be able to, to get your listing with maximum eyes and to get people to actually be able to tour your land remotely and, and it's a it's a very unique thing and there's alternatives to it, but we're going to kind of go into the alternatives and sort of how that compares to what we are doing at National Land Realty. And, and the reason this matters is is just things that you want to consider if, if when you're looking at listings and when you are looking to sell, there's a lot of things to consider. And, and technology like this is definitely one of those things. So, Jeff, before before we kind of jump into the technology jargon and, you know, we, we kind of jump into that stuff. How did you get to National Land? Because I think that your story is unique and I think that your story is, is a good one. Um, you know, how did you get here and, and, and what was your sort of path? All right. Well, Mac, thanks for having me on the podcast. I appreciate the invite. Um, yeah, I got a unique past. Um, I live in western Nebraska, a little town of Sydney. Um, most people know Sydney, Nebraska is the home of Cabela's Sporting Goods. And I started in my early 20s working for them. And I spent 28 years, most of that time at Cabela's corporate offices. And in 2004, Cabela's had a program they launched called Cabela's Trophy Properties, and they worked with brokers around the nation to advertise their hunting properties, recreational tracks, farm and ranch listings on the Cabela's website. So I helped manage that for 10 years. And in that 10-year period, I worked with uh, Aaron Graham, who's now uh, a partner with National Land. And um, we also did. Uh, I just recorded a podcast with Aaron about his Siberian bear hunt, which actually is going to go. That's going to go live before this does. So anybody listening, well, if you're li- if you've done your diligence and you've listened to all the episodes, you're going to catch that episode. All right. <laughs> so anyway, um, fast forward uh, 2014, Cabela's ceased uh, to operate that program. So I went back to my role in merchandising with the company. Uh, merchandising catalogs and websites. And then um, Bass Pro Shops bought out Cabela's and pretty much laid off everybody, you know, 2,000 people in a town of 6,000. So I already had my license and relationships in the land business. So I went to work for National Land with Aaron. And uh, I'm currently a a broker as of, uh, you know, 2018 associate broker with uh, Ryan Schroeder out of the Omaha office. And so I was selling land for four years and an opportunity came up to be the technology project coordinator for national land at the end of 2021. And I jumped on board and been doing that role since. So I still sell land and uh, support the tech team and managing their projects and support the agents with training on things like land for 360 and our GIS technology. And you also do some drone photography, right? I do. So <clears throat> I actually hired somebody to shoot my first Land Tour 360s and uh, I saw how much they charge and I compared the price of a drone and getting an FA license and said, you know what, if I'm going to be in this business, it's going to be more uh, beneficial to own that drone myself from a cost perspective and I control the end results. So in 2019, I passed that FAA Part 107 test, got my license 
and I started flying my own properties, videos, photos. And because of my long marketing background at Cabela's, I found a creative outlet through drone photography. So I went ahead and started a business called High Point Aerial Images, and I do professional drone photography and videography for people in uh, my local area. Awesome. I, I, I stay in tune to the photography that you do, and it is quite excellent. I, I want to steal about half of that for uh, for our marketing uses. Um, so I, I want to throw a disclaimer out here too. Like, so normally we we build that we build the podcast around providing value and providing analysis of land for for you know landowners and potential landowners. And and this this one's it's a little more of a plug than we normally do, just because you know we try we try to like be as objective as possible when we do this kind of stuff. But when we're talking about when you go to market with a listing, um, photography is one of the most important pieces that you have, and making sure that you're working with a land professional that, that does great photography that does the land justice. And what we're talking about is is a step beyond that. This is. This is a 3D tour from the sky. And just tell me a, just the basics of, you know, from your angle, and you're going to have much better terminology than I do, because it's I'm going to butcher whatever I talk about when it comes to this stuff. But tell me like about land tour and what exactly it does and is. So let me kind of step back, you know, buyers have expectations when they're searching for property. So most brokerage, you know, land brokerage websites, they have, you know, the things buyers expect to see property text, photos from the ground, photos from the air, aerial maps. Sometimes there's maybe a, a YouTube video attached with music and text over the photo shots taken with a drone flying through the property or, you know, taken from a side by side. Um, but we wanted to step that up and exceed the buyer's expectations. So we created land tour 360. So imagine, if you took a drone in the air, which is what you do. So the end experience is when you look at this image on the website, it's interactive. You can take your mouse or your finger on your phone. You can pan around, you can look up and down, you can look straight down. So not only do you see the property, you see the surrounding area. And so then you take that 360 image. So now the user who's looking at the website, looking at the Lantor 360, not only sees the aerial map in the upper left-hand corner with a radar showing which direction they're looking on the main viewer. They're able to see the property boundary, the surrounding area. Then the agent can add in points of interest. We call them POIs. So you can add photos and place that POI directly on that 360 image where that photo is taken. You can add you know, a description to it. You can add a video clip whether it's taken with a drone or a game camera, you know, a lot of agents want to show a property and show the game. But as soon as you go in there with a the truck or the side by side, the game scatters. But if you get that game camera video on the Lantra 360, you can see exactly where that was shot on that image. You can upload points of interest that are uh, text information about the property, food plots, um, but points of interest outside the property boundary distance to communities, schools, wildlife areas, rivers, lakes. Um, you can also add uh, 3D virtual tours like a Matterport of a home. So if there's a home on the property, you could do a virtual walkthrough with the Matterport and put a POI on that home. So not only can you tour the property from the air, then you can actually go into the buildings, whether it's a barn, a home, a shop, and take a complete tour. Um, so. You can also add uh, for commercial listings, you can add uh, logos of surrounding businesses, whether it's restaurants, hotels, interstate markers, things like that. So it's just a great way for a buyer to look at a property from the air, pan around, totally interactive, click on photos, videos, all these points of interest, and just get a full understanding of the property. And how is that experience different than, and, and I have kind of my own sort of analysis on it, but, but, and I'll go into that in a second, but like, how is it different from your point of view than say taking a drone up in the air and taking a photo or what we see a lot of the times is we see drone photos and we see drone videos where they do a fly through or they do a static photo. What's what's sort of the primary difference? Well, the difference between that and a drone photo is a photo is a static image. You're just looking at one view of the property with the 360 viewer, Lantra 360 viewer. You can pan around, look up and down. You have total control of the view. And you can put more than one 360 view on a Lantra 360. So maybe you're on the west end of the property at 100 foot looking at it. 
and maybe see in the home and the buildings and you see another 360, what we call balloons, let's say 360, somewhere else on that 360 view or you click on that. Now you're looking at the property from that view. Maybe it's a 200 feet or 400 feet. So you can tour, completely tour the property by clicking on these. And where this is better than just a video fly through to put to music, the viewer is actually controlling the end results. They're able to go to where they want on the property. They're not watching the video saying, okay, where was this taken? Because wherever you're looking at on Lantra 360, the locator map in the upper left-hand corner has a radar and a little blue radar and it shows the direction that the, um, that the, uh, you know, the main image is, is facing. So you truly get a perspective of where you're at on the property. Right. And then, so for, for a user experience, what I've kind of noticed with it is it, it's a full interactive experience, meaning it's a full virtual tour from the sky. You can, you can move around and, and it's, it's nuanced, right? Like you can see a lot in a, in a video fly through, right? You, you get a drone up and you run a video through it and, and you can see things, but like you said, you, you have a hard time getting your bearings. And with something like a land tour, as you scroll through and as you move the camera, you get a true sense of the of the topo of the area, right? You can see the actual decline of a mountain ridge. You can see, uh, you know, what does that valley floor look like? And it's it's very very similar to the three D tours, like you you talked about Matterport, which is a three D view of a house, which you can also embed inside of a land tour three sixty. So you're you're up in the sky in this view. And you, and you can zoom down into the ground, view a photo from the ground, zoom back out, view the land again from the sky, look at it, get that 3D effect of it by, by scrolling. And then you can go zoom into a building structure and then do a 3D tour of the structure too. It's a full immersive interactive experience. So, so what I'm curious about is how does this work in the market? So if I'm if I'm a buyer, right, and someone's talking to me and like, we work with this thing called Lantern 360, and I'm kind of like, okay, great. What does that mean for me? If I'm, if I'm selling my land, what, how does that help me? What, you know, what is, what's the benefit of that? Oh, the benefit is, is uh, when you have that on the website and potential buyers are looking at that property, I mean, they're getting all the detailed information up front. You know, it's less wasted time for the seller for the agent and for the buyer. And what I mean by that is when someone's looking at that property online and they look at a land tour 360, there's been countless stories from our agents where the first visit to the property by a buyer, they're there because they saw the land tour 360 and it's a confirmation visit. They just want to put their boots on the ground to say, yep, this matched up to what I saw in the land tour 360. So many times with minimal information, an agent goes out to a property, and they'll show it quite a few times. And some of these listings are, are, are multiple hours away from the agent's office. And so it takes the agent's time to drive out there. It takes the buyer's time to drive out there. And if they're going out there uninformed, a lot of times they walk away and say, no, this isn't what I'm looking for. With Lantra 360, before they go there, they know that's the property they want. So that only saves the agent time, the buyer time, and the seller time. You think a seller, sometimes if there's a home on the property, you want the seller to leave the premises so you can show the property. And so it's just a lot of logistics that you have to uh, adjust for. And uh, by just having that detailed view, it just, uh, it's, like, it's like if you looked at a catalog, you know, or a website and you see a product and there's not a property description, or it's very limited or very few photos, you know, eh, I don't want to buy that product. But if you go out there and there's like 20 photos of the product, different views, complete write up, bullet points, property specs, now, you know, all the details of that product, you're more than apt to click, you know, add to shopping cart. So it's kind of the same thing. You, you get that full detailed immersive experience and you combine that with a good property write up describing the property, you know, documents, um, prop data, anything you can add to that listing, you know, it, it's a win for everybody. And, and you, you spoke to, you know, a lot of the times buyers, are looking at the land tour. And by the time they go to the property, they've already kind of made up their mind. They're just confirming that that's what they want to buy. And you're more in tune to the success stories of this because you work with this with this on a daily basis. What are some of the success stories? And, and, and do you see that exact circumstance playing out on a regular basis? Oh, I do. I, I hear these stories all the time. Um, we got an agent in South Carolina that had a farm listed, did a good land tour 360 on it. 
and uh, a buyer saw it on the website. He studied the land for 360 in detail, and he traveled from California all the way to South Carolina to only view that one property, and he purchased it. He knew from the land for 360 that's what he wanted. I mean, that's coast to coast to view one property. You know, most guys say, I want to view several since I'm making the flight, you know, I'm going to view several properties, but this guy knew exactly what he wanted because of Lantra 360. You know, I have an example myself. Um, you know, when you got a 1031 buyer or an investment buyer, they don't necessarily um, live in the area. So they're out of state and, you know, they don't want to invest that time to drive if they're not truly interested. So I had a half section of farm ground listed last year that had an active oil well on it. So I had some uh, additional income instead of just the crop income. And uh, a buyer out of Arizona reached out to me and asked questions, studied the land tour 360 and this buyer made an offer. So we had it under contract and she had a due diligence period. And in that time frame, she was not satisfied with some of the mineral right transfers that was going on. So she backed out of the deal. So we put it back on the market and within a week, I got a panic phone call from a buyer out of Idaho. And he's like, I've got three days left to identify a 1031 exchange property. And I ran across this one. In Ecuador's rainforests, a 2,000-year-old unwritten language is teaching students from Brigham Young University what it means to truly listen. Brigham Young University. For the benefit of the world. My soul is in the South, so even as thunder rumbles across the skies, my spirit keeps me going. My flood insurance helps me stay. Protect your property with flood insurance. Visit floodsmart.gov. He looked at the Land Tour 360. He looked at the descriptions and all the details of the property, you know, the income, everything. And because of the Land Tour 360, he made an offer and um, got it under contract. So same property, two offers. Neither people set foot on the property. They use the Lantor 360 to make their decision. That was my next question is, did they ever even take the time to set foot? No. And still to this day, I've talked to the buyer. He bought it last, you know, last spring and he still has not come down. You know, he's coordinated with the new owner or the new uh, tenant to farm the land, but he still hasn't even uh, set foot on it. So these are multiple cases where due to this, this technology that, that, you know, national land is invested in, People will buy properties sight unseen because they have that good of a grasp of the landscape, the land, the boundaries, the the uh, the locations of things on that land that people will go in and it, it enables virtual touring from across the country and the purchase of land from across the country. You still know what you're getting. You know, another thing about not setting foot on the property, if you go back to the, the pandemic two years um, Matterports became popular because people didn't want to meet with agents and people didn't want people in their homes. So a lot of home transactions were done using Matterport virtual walkthroughs. And I think that kind of set the stage, kind of like remote work kind of set the stage because of COVID. I think land tour became even more popular because people didn't want to travel, get out. They were able to make the purchasing decisions based on great information from a land tour 360, just like Matterport for residential real estate. Lantor 360 does the same thing. How do you how do you sort of gauge the size of listing that you want to do sort of a 3D tour from the sky? Because I mean, if you're talking about one acre, do you want to do it on one acre or do you want to set a size limit of like five acres for something like this? No, you, you don't want to do it on every listing if you can, even if you think it's going to sell within a week. <clears throat> and and this is from more from an agent perspective. Um you know, National Land, we take pride in the way we market our properties. Williams, we make clean energy happen. Did you know global energy demand is projected to increase nearly 50% by 2050? As demand for low-cost, low-carbon electricity grows, Williams will use our natural gas infrastructure to lead the charge into the clean energy future. We're investing in clean, reliable, and affordable energy delivery and technologies to meet the next generation of global energy demand. Bring on electrification. Williams is ready. And uh, we, you know, we think we do it better than most. And if an agent can put forth the effort on a one acre property, you know, there may be a, a, a seller out there that's got a thousand acres that saw the effort that agent put into one acre. I said, well, if he puts that effort into one acre, what's he going to do on my listing? 
you know, so from uh, our, we're getting new listings for secretary for an agent. It's a great tool, but even, even one acre, let's say it's a one acre commercial lot. I mean, from the view, now you're going to see all the surrounding, you know, the other businesses, the, the freeways, the highways, the intersections, you know, the proximity to other cities. And you can label all that in the land for 360. I was just going to say too, there, there's been several, I I'm always looking at land in my area and there's several times you see like a one to we'll say 10 acre plot of land where you see photos from the ground and it's like, well, that's great. There's a shrub and there's a road. I have no idea where that road is. Oh, that's great. There's a stream. Where is the stream? And, and you, you don't know where any of that is. And like, man, I just wish there was at least an aerial photo. There's not even an aerial photo. But then when you're talking land tour, you're 200 feet off the ground. Well, depending on where you set it, right? You're going to be getting, right, right. Um, between 100 feet and 400 feet. And you get a sense of where it lies in, say, that valley, how you get to it. Um, you can scroll through. You can zoom in if there's photos on the ground. I mean, it's, it's, it is essentially just a walkthrough, right? And it's, it's a very unique piece of technology. Um, is there no. go ahead sorry i was gonna say you know like one acre i've seen one acre um home sites that are in the woods that if you just took a photo of that all you're going to see is just tree stumps tree stumps and yeah. from the air you can see wow there's no road access i'd have to clear cut a road in get the easements i mean it actually gives you a perspective of where that sits you know it's not easy access to that property or it is easy access hey that one acre with all the trees right next to a, a road I'd like to be on next to power. You can see the power lines. Um, yeah. So there's, there's no minimum size or maximum size. So if I'm a seller and somebody's talking to me about this and they say, Hey, you know, we can, we can list your property. We've got this crazy piece of technology that enables people to tour your land from the sky. And it enables people to buy land sight unseen because they have that good of a grasp of what they're looking at. If I'm the, if I'm the seller, I'm thinking, all right, where's the catch? What am I going to (laughs) pay? Right. And that's the beauty of it. It it costs the seller nothing. You know, it is, it is just one of the marketing tools that we offer. And uh, so when you list with national land, you know, and you want to land for 360 on your property, you know, that's no additional cost. See, and that's where I, I, I'm. I, I, yeah, that that part of it, and it's probably kind of a layup question there for you. Yeah. <laughs> that. I'm, I'm not going to lie; that was some salesmanship there. But when when I look at when I look at sort of like how people list land, and when people go about, you know, making that consideration, they'll talk to multiple people, and and every every brokerage out there has sort of a shiny thing, right? Like like there's something that. That and, and everybody does the same thing. Like when it comes down to it, land professionals all do the same thing. They get good photos. They write a property description. They put it out on you know whatever kind of aggregator service you can. So when when we say aggregator, that's where we're talking Zillow. That's where we're talking. Um, you know, Land.com is very popular for uh, for lands just in general. There's other outlets like Crexy, um, Land Broker Co-op. There's a there's a bunch of aggregator sites. So. Every agent tries to get the land up on multiple aggregator sites. That's what they all do. And then there's usually a shiny thing put on top of that where it's like, oh, we, well, we have a TV show. Oh, well, we have, you know, great, great online advertising. We know a bunch of landowners in your area. And there's always something like that. Like we differentiate ourselves from everybody else because like we we print a magazine. You know, so there's there's always something in there. And where this is a little different, right? Like this is this is yes, a shiny thing, but this is a sales tool, right? Like this is, this is enabling a 3d fly through. I can see the land from the sky and zoom in and experience the land from across the country. And how, like, how often do you hear from buyers about, or I guess, uh, you know, it would be more prevalent for buyers where they have an experience. Are, Are there situations where they, they made the purchase because of this technology? Oh, absolutely. The example I gave of those two different buyers on the same property, you know, they would not have made the offer because one, the 1031 guy did not have time to come down, you know, that's, you know, and that's a really, that's such a good use case right there too, where 1031s, you have a set time limit. Once you go to market, you better find one. And if you have, have a, something fall through, now you've got that much less time, right? Right. Exactly. Exactly. And I want to emphasize too, that this is proprietary technology. No other land brokerage has this. 
I was going to ask, do you see copycats? You know, we've seen copycats, but no one has the technology we have to overlay the boundaries, put the points of interest and have it work the way ours works. Ours is truly unique. I was going to say, I have seen where you can rotate camera from a 3D view from a from a drone, but right. it is where like it's that zoom in, zoom out. Like I can be in the sky and then I can be on the ground. I can watch a video. I can walk through a house. I can go back to the sky and and I can see the property boundaries in different locations. But you're you're right with a lot of the technology that we've seen that sort of copies this. You can move a camera around, but I have no idea whether that mountain is the neighbor's property or have, you know, is that our property or there's there's things like that. There's mapping technology where you can see mapping boundaries and stuff like that from the sky, but then you don't have a sense of the topography. Right. Right. It's sort of what I see. What is what's and, and I know that we have like sort of internal processes, so I don't want to like, you know, go into that, you know, how we handle things and stuff. But. What does it look like? So if I'm if I'm selling my land and there's an agent that talks to me about this really unique piece of technology that they can do on the property at no charge to me, what's it look like for, for me? Do I just sit back and wait? And is it a couple of days before this goes live? How long does it take to set something like this up? You know, it can it can be fairly fast. I mean, depends on the agent, depends on their schedule, their timeline. And and sort of if I was to look at, you know, whole picture, right? If, if I'm on, you know, again, it, it applies better to a landowner because they're the ones that are going to interact with this process more. The buyers interact from the perspective of viewing it and buying. And it's hard to put yourself in their shoes. Exactly. Because every situation is unique. If, if I'm if I'm the buyer, what other options are out there? We kind of we talked about just like, you know, land shots, walking on the ground, taking a photo and then throwing a drone in the air. Are, are there options besides this that sort of do the job. I mean, just to talk about full marketplace, right? And this does talk about other companies besides ours, but I want to be objective about it. Sure. No, there's really nobody else doing this. I mean, most websites, like like I said in the beginning, you got photos, you know, they'll put a drone photo and, and manually draw, you know, in a photo editor, draw the boundaries on the property, which gives you a good perspective. And we do that as well. You know, you can take drone photos, you know, while you're out there shooting a Lantern 360, take drone photos, throw it in a photo editor, put the boundaries on it. So when you're looking through the still photo gallery, you'll actually see the boundaries. That's very helpful. Um, like I say, no one else is using this technology the way we are. How accurate is it? It's very accurate. I mean, the photos are the photos, right? I mean, right, right. But I was, I was thinking more like property boundaries and placement, stuff like you that. know, boundary. There's always, there's always, a, there's always a disclaimer because you're dealing with a, a the three dimensional image and manually drawing the boundaries and you got trees and hills. So, you know, you may draw a straight line, but you have a hill, you can adjust that line to go over the hill. Um, so we always have a disclaimer that, you know, boundary lines are estimates. And that's, be, that's actually a very good point too, because it, even, even if you're looking at a GIS map from the U S government, you, you do still, despite the accuracy that you think it has, and even if I'm standing there with, if I'm using on X, right? Like I can go out to a field and usually get myself within a couple feet, but you do still want to get a survey and stuff like that to verify. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's more for just a general, the boundary line's a general visual representation. Like you say, regular GIS map, you know, it's going to do the same thing. You know, even like county maps taken, you know, from, uh, that you see on a county uh, assessor's website and you're looking at their GIS maps, it can depend on the time of day, the satellite shot. And, you know, you may get two different results on two different days where they put those boundaries, but it's fairly close, but they'll even give you, you know, that they're estimates. How quick is it for agents to get sort of like onboarded with this? How, how difficult of a technology is it? It looks complicated. But the way we built the system, it's easy to build. So it can be intimidating to an agent at first because you see all this stuff and you think, wow, that's, and it is, it's complicated technology, but we made the input process for our agents very easy to do. Um, so, you know, to capture the 360 images, you know, agents have a couple ways they can do that. So when, when you're working with these things, um, you know, the, the most difficult part is building it, right? The taking the shots. Um, as far as the return, 
do you see that affecting the overall price or the or the uh, the the way that people bid on properties like this? And I know it's hard to quantify, but it's sort of I'm just curious about it. Yeah, it's hard to quantify, but if if you look on you know you know average days on the market, they they go to closing much quicker. Gotcha. We make that make that buying decision process that much faster for the for the buyer. Which is great, especially when somebody's buying out of state. You want to know that you want the property that you're looking at, and it's hard to do that if there's just like three photos of trees, right? Right, right. I mean, you still want to price the property based on, you know, comps and market value, as opposed to, hey, you know, we got a fantastic looking land 360. Let's just jack up the price, right? Right. <laughs> That's just bad practice. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Well, what else can you tell me about it? I mean, is it like? I mean, we're we're kind of we. we it's hard because you're like, you're, you're discussing it and you're like, well, what is it? Well, we take sky photos and you can call through them. There you go. Like, you, you know, it, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's really, it's really hard to explain without a visual example of what it does. Yes. You, you know, the, the best thing I can say is, uh, you know, you know, go, go to nationalland.com and check it out. we actually have a, a landing page specifically for this. And it's just, uh, nationalland.com slash land tour 360 and that 360 is the number three six and zero all one word all one word yep nationalland.com slash land tour 360 and you'll be able to read about it play around with an example that's got a lot of pois videos matter ports you know 360 ground camera photos Yeah. And it's, and it's one where, you know, like I said, I, we, I don't do a ton of promo when we, when we do the podcast, but when you're talking about actually buying or selling land, something like this does make a difference. If you were a potential seller out there and you, you want to go to market with all of the tools available at your disposal. And, and there are different advantages to going with different companies. Some companies have a great online presence. Some companies have, you know, they've, they've, put effort into sort of a TV format or a YouTube video format or, or a printed magazine that goes out quarterly. There's different things. And, and I would argue too, like with a printed magazine format, you're waiting for the next episode to get new properties out there. And some of the properties in the magazine could already be sold. This is like an accurate representation, right? This is a tool at a seller's disposal and for, for a buyer's utilization that you can go out and and actually make a difference in the sale. It's a true tool. So it, while it is a promo, it is also a benefit. <laughs> right. But you mentioned, you know, some brokerages have TV shows and quarterly magazines. Um, you know, I came out of that world at Cabela's Trophy Properties. We did a website. We didn't have a TV show, but we had a quarterly magazine with properties. But the agent selected which properties went in there. So not every seller got their property in that catalog for that magazine. And uh, same thing with TV show. It's something that only select sellers get their land on a TV show for land for 360. Every seller can have a land for 360. You know, it's something that's available to everybody and it benefits them directly. And it's a promotion of their property specifically. And by creating a land for 360, you know, the agents gathering information, um, but here's a chance for the agent to really dress that thing up and talk to the landowner, learn as much as they can about the property and add those details into the land tour 360. And another nice thing is, uh, when the agent, uh, gets a call from a potential buyer, you know, they can get them on the phone or get them on a zoom call and share the land tour 360 and even walk them through that land tour 360 virtually and point out features you know, and talk about it and say, Hey, I had boots on the ground. There's the agent, you know, and, and this Creek, you know, man, there's trout in there or whatever. I mean, you can talk about anything. So it's a great way to talk to somebody across the country and share that, you know, land tour 360 with them and walk them through it. Excellent. Well, and I, I do, I want to go into the development of it really bad, but it's, it's, it's also like proprietary technology. I'm not going to go into right, that. Right. It's such a cool story, but um anyways jeff just want to thank you for your time on on this i i I love the technology it's such a good tool for landowners because every time we have a, a large listing that that uses this we have the same story where people have explored it virtually from across the country and there are there are those sight unseen purchases 
because they know it because they've already intimately experienced it through a virtual experience. Um, it's just, it's, it's an absolute unique thing that only our company does. And it's like, I feel like more people should be aware because of what it is. It's, it's a true difference maker, but, um, thank you for your time today. Like talking about this, I know that this is something that you are intimately experienced with you're, you're working with land tour day in and day out. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm the point man on this for national land. So you know, the agents have questions, they reach out, you know, they reach out to us and I'm, I'm, I'm the guy that uh, works with them on their land tours. So. But yeah, thanks for having me on the podcast. This was a lot of fun. Excellent. Thank you, Jeff. This concludes episode number 54 for the National Land Realty Podcast, discussing Land Tour 360 with Jeff Phelps, Technology Project Coordinator for National Land Realty. You can learn more about land ownership and the buying and selling of land at nationalland.com. Ecuador's rainforest.